state-of-the-art training ground, world-class stadium, fluffy, comfy pillows in the lodge. Amazing. Seems like the perfect fit. I just love it. And uh, more and more and more. The more I know the club, the structure, the people, the passion, the organization, the more I, I like it, you know? So it's something that I have just to focus on on my job in, in, in a closer circle around the, the football team and the areas that support the, the football team, I'm really happy. Do you think you will manage, even if, I know you said you, you need to win, it's part of your philosophy to win, a principle, but if, generally speaking, do you think you might be able to look a bit happier around the place and on the touchline and, than you have been maybe in recent, <laughs> in recent years? I don't understand what you mean, you know, I, who is the manager that is happy when, when um, he's not having the, the results that he, he wants? If, I don't know one. You've said, and we'll make the quote clear, you said that you can win the Premier League next season. Not will, but can. Yeah. Ca can you win the Champions League this season? Uh, by the, the, the statistical point of view, we are in competition, in a pragmatic approach. We cannot finish first, and that changes the, per the, percent the percentage, let's say, pragmatic approach, because we can only qualify as second. We are not yet qualified, but we can qualify only as a second. So qualifying as a second, you diminish a little bit your uh, your possibilities of uh, of winning. That's that's obvious. Um, but I think just in this moment, I just think about the Olympiacos match and trying to qualify before the last match. Daniel Levy is a man who knows what he wants. He insists on the best. Uh, it's hard to please him. You have similar qualities, quite rightly, if you want to win. Do you think you'll be able to get on well together? Yes, I think we. I embraced this vision, he explained me his vision for the club and I embraced that. It was one of the most important reasons for me to, 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 to accept. So when I did that, I think it's a, it's a very, very, very good start. A part of that, football reasons, the quality of the players, the quality of the, of the squad, the incredible uh, facilities to uh, to work, the impressive stadium, the, um, the very warm support uh, by the fans, the way, the way the Spurs fans feel and live and breathe the club. So everything together m made me really feel strongly that I would love to, to get this, this job. It's been a whirlwind. You say you've had a lot of messages from your friends at Manchester United. Yeah. From other Ex-clubs as well? Yes, from everybody, from everybody, from everywhere, everywhere. Uh, I, I, maybe I get the opportunity to, to apologize to 500 of them that I couldn't answer because I had 700 uh, and I had only time to answer 200. But was curious to see my last club with, with so many people uh, showing me that, that respect, that empathy, that, that good feeling was nice. don't want to be nosy, my final question, but is there one that you can share that means something special to you, one of the messages? All of them. Um, the first one was, was Richard Arnold. Um, and because I know the direction you want to go, I don't know, the third, the fourth, the fifth was Ed Woodward. And they were my bosses. <laughs>